Hey everybody, and welcome to the Ask Flutter Q&A here at Flutter Interact. As you just saw, Google's been putting a ton of effort into making Flutter a great way to build beautiful apps. But Flutter's an open source <laughs> project. It's supported by a whole community of coders and designers and YouTube creators and sample authors and, and everything else. And if you're watching this live stream with us right now, you're part of that community, and we want to hear from you. I'm Andrew Brogdon from the Flutter Developer Relations team, and I've got a few friends up here with me. My name is Kate Lovett, and I'm with the Flutter engineering team. Mm -hmm. Andrew and I will be your co-host for this session, mm -hmm. and we also have a moderator who is collecting your questions for us. I'm John, I'm from the Dart Developer Relations team, and I'll be answering your tweets and questions in the live chat. We'll also be having a number of special guests that we'll be interviewing during these sessions, and we are joined now by our first guest, Matthias Duarte, welcome. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, so most of you just saw Matthias in the keynote uh, a few minutes ago, and we have some viewer questions that we have sourced, and we're going to start uh, asking them. So yes. Kate, I think All right, I'm excited. I do, I do. I actually pulled this one off of Twitter just a little bit ago from Sunil. Uh, they would like to know, what is the future of Flutter? Which, of course, we've heard a little <laughs> bit about today in the keynote. Yeah. But in particular, what are some of the challenges that you think uh, we're going to be facing as we get there? Oh, for sure. Um, thanks for the question. Uh, I really do think the, the future of Flutter is creating a, uh, just a, a tool that can help everybody reach um, a consistent experience wherever they are, really trying to um, move away from being burdened by the technology, thinking about the technology first, thinking about your constraints first, and mm -hmm. really focusing on what is it that you're imagining in terms of an experience and mm -hmm. just focusing on those parts of the problems. Um, it's, that, it's that like ultimate creative potential that I find really inspiring about Flutter and, and what I want to help in any way that I can. Um, what was the second part of the question? <laughs> I forgot what was the second part. <laughs> well, I get the second part of the question involved, you know, what kind of challenges do you think that we'll be facing? But I think you've been answering oh, to that quite sure. a bit. I mean, I, I feel always, um, one of the, the great things about working at Google in general and working with all the talented people and all these teams is they're really focused on what the users or the customers really need, what they really want. So yeah. our challenges are really uh, all your challenges, all the developers' challenges. You tell <laughs> us where your pain points are, where your headaches are, where um, uh, uh, you find things that are not fun that you wish the drudgery was taken out of, um, and those are the problems that we want to solve. So I actually have a question that sort of builds on something you just said and something that we heard in the keynote, mm -hmm. um, which was you were talking about Flutter seems to be targeted at removing pain points and removing sort of drudgery from uh, application development and, and allowing people to spend more time on other things. I'm curious, what specifically is the work that you imagine Flutter being able to take off of a developer's plate and then what do you imagine them doing with the time that they save that way? You know, what are you looking forward to seeing people build? Uh, that's a great question. I was just talking about this actually earlier with Grant, where we were uh, both talking about how um, the kind of, uh, not just the, the speed of development and the speed of feedback in Flutter, but um, in general, like having access to the right abstractions um, and to be able to add, you know, whatever extra nuance or little detail you want really easily. What that creates is a space for exploration and creativity. Okay. Because uh, normally, you know, uh, you're working under deadlines, you're working under constraints, right? Nobody has an infinite amount of time to just do whatever they want, mm -hmm. right? You're trying to solve a problem. Um, and the, the faster you can try things, the quicker you can get to that point of realizing, hey, this is pretty good, I like this, but what happens if I turn this just a little further? Let mm -hmm. me see what that looks like. Or, Whoa, what happens if I invert this now? And like, wow, that's really unexpected. That's, that's really delightful. Mm -hmm. Or I thought this approach was going to work. We assemble it quickly. And then you're like, oh, no, that's really missing something that the users need. We need to find a way to, again, kind of push the boundaries and, and find a new solution, mm -hmm. right? Um, so for me, uh, the, the speed and the ease and the kind of like, Mm, mental model uh, affinity of how you're thinking about a design problem, mm -hmm. all of these things directly contribute to creativity. That's what they unlock. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's basically removing blockers to creativity. Interesting. 
Sure. It's fantastic. And you Thank know, you. in answering that, you mentioned something about delightful experiences. And I actually saw earlier another question asking, how would you define a delightful experience? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I'm not sure that there is there is one right answer, but I I always find that the um, uh, it, it it sits at this intersection that we're always looking for uh, between the the form and the function, mm -hmm. between satisfying the user's practical needs, but also satisfying their emotional needs. Mm -hmm. um, how can uh, something um, uh, surprise you, delight you, and make you feel good, feel feel natural, feel mm -hmm. easy? Um, we really are spending so much time in these digital experiences that they are digital worlds. They're an expansion of our world. We are, we are living in kinds of virtual realities. Um, and we should make those worlds wonderful. It's fantastic, Amen. very well said. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That's all the time we have uh, for right now with you. So if you just uh, leave your microphone right there, thank you so much for joining us. Have a good time stage. as well, yeah. yes. Thank, thank you, Thank you so much.